EMAP Field Cheat Sheet number 9, the Fire Tower Tool. The Fire Tower Bearing Tool allows the user to plot observations from a fire tower. To find the tool, go to tab 8, Fire Towers. You can select a fire tower by either clicking in the map display or by selecting a tower from the list of towers on the left hand side. If you cannot see the tower, press the zoom tool to zoom to that tower. Use the bearing and range scroll bars to set the direction and distance of the proposed observation and this is shown as a red line. Use the add button to create an observation of the line drawn. Once created, a line will appear on the map and the observation will appear in the observation panel on the left hand side of your screen. The bearing tool allows you to put in a reference point and then a secondary point to see what the distance and bearing is between those two points. First, select the bearing tool. This will then take you to the tab 4, Analysis, where in the bearing mode you can enter two points. The first is your reference point as a triangle and the secondary point will display as a circle. The range in kilometres and bearings in grid north and magnetic north will be displayed up on the top toolbar. Be aware that bearings can be recorded in different formats, grid north, magnetic north and also true north. EMAP field uses grid or magnetic north. Grid north is the direction northward along the grid line of a map projection and this is generally up the page or up the screen. Magnetic North is the direction of the magnetic north pole and the direction a compass needle points. The difference between these two values varies slightly at different locations. 